Leaving Cert Higher Level Maths 2024. This is the solution video for paper one, question six. So question six is a functions question. Uh, part A, h of x is equal to x squared plus bx minus 12, where x is an element of or and b is a constant. Find a value of b for which x minus four is a factor of h of x. So there's three different ways you can do this um, that they accepted on the marking scheme. The easiest way, in my opinion, is just do the h of 4, which will be 4 squared plus b uh, times 4 minus 12. Uh, and that would obviously be equal to 0 because it's a factor. So that gives us 4b is equal to minus 4 and b is equal to minus one. So nice and easy to get you going on that question. That's worth 10 marks. In part b, we're given two functions, f of x is equal to e to the nine x and g of x is equal to the natural log of root x. Use these functions to answer the next few parts. So find the value of f of 1.2, give your answer in the form of a by 10 to the x. So obviously that's important to give it in that uh, form there. So f of 1.2 is equal to e to the power of 9 times 1.2 which is e to the power of 10.8 and then you'll pop that into the calculator to get it in the correct form. Your calculator will uh, it might not give it straight away as 4.9 by 10 to the 4 it might give it as uh, 49,000, but you can then change that into scientific notation, 4.9 by 10 to the four, and that's worth five marks. Uh, part two then of B, um, find the value of X for which uh, G of X is equal to 3.5 and give your form, uh, your answer in the form of E to the P. So that's the natural log of x, g of x is the natural log of root x is equal to 3.5. So we just need to go ahead and solve for x in this. So um, if I change from log form to exponential form, that would be e to the power of 3.5 is equal to root x. Hopefully you can change from log form to exponential form. Square both sides then to get rid of the x, so that's e to the 3.5 squared is equal to root x squared. So squaring root x obviously gives you x, so that's x is equal to uh, e to the 3.5 to the two, multiply the powers, so that's e to the power of seven, which is the form that they want. So x is equal to e to the power of seven for five marks. And then finally, part three, write the function g of f of x in terms of x in its simplest form. So the g of f of x. So you start off by doing the g of x, which is the natural log of x. And now we do the f of x. The f of x is the square root. Uh, sorry, the natural log of square root is g of x. And then inside here, you do f of x. f of x was e to the 9 x. So that's the g of f of x. And to write it in its simplest form, we go ahead and see what we can do. So uh, the square root of e to 9x is e to the 9x to the power of a half. So that'll just get rid of the square root for us, e to the 9x to the power of a half. Um, so then 9x to the power of a half, you multiply the power. So that's the natural log of e to the power of 4.5x. So that's made it a good bit simpler uh, so far. And then we also have the natural log and e, which cancel each other out. So it simplifies down just to give you 4.5x. That is the answer there. And that's worth 10 marks. Okay, so if you have any questions, just ask in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.